the video of how to keep away from triggers on the internet. Twenty twenty four Andrew D one two three four five videos. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the video of how to keep away from triggers on the internet. This video will help you keep away from triggers on the internet and keep things much more safe. Andrew D one two three four five productions. You know, the internet is full of things like TV series, movies, video games, drinks, vehicles, people, years, places, computers, websites and more. There is so much good stuff on the internet that you might like, be interested in or stock crush. But that's not always the case, there is also stuff on the internet that could be upsetting, tramitist, or triggerish. That stuff could be events. TV series, movies, certain year, the F word, sharp teeth scenes in TV series and movies, certain program actions and more. You know, places on the internet like YouTube, Google Images, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Bing Images, eBay, Amazon and more. And in these places, you can see lots of stuff from cars, pop culture, video games and YouTubers, and that may be all that good. But that's not always the case. Sometimes, there can be some upsetting, triggerish, and traumatizing stuff on the internet. Like, there are certain years, certain TV shows and movies, sharp teeth scenes, and much more on the internet. So, be pretty careful of what you see on the internet. Drinks in the 2020s. You know, if you go to a store in the 2020s and you are trying to get a drink, there is lots of choices. There is Prime, Starry, Skittles drinks, Powerade both sour and regular, Gatorade, C4 Energy and much more. The 2020s has lots of different varieties of drinks to enjoy. Did you know, you can also look these drinks up on the internet. Yes, these drinks are also on the internet as well. Hey everyone, it is Andrew T. Went to the Five here, and this is the video of how to keep away from triggers on the internet. If anyone can hear this, we're almost out of time. Our cities are falling. The world is being conquered by Dr. Eggman. <laughs> to take back our home, we'll need speed, power, and courage. It'll be tough, but we need you. You've got powerful gadgets and blistering speed. Get out there, and make your own legacy. The war to take back the planet begins now. I'll handle things my way.
You need to ascend the four towers of the Masters. They are memorials to the pilots who gave their lives to save the world. To find them. I need you three to find the Chaos Emeralds, while I take care of something else. I won't give up! Our opponent has repurposed the constructs to bolster the distortion's defensive measures. In other words, keep smashing things. I like the direct approach. The trials you face will be grueling, and we will have precious little time. So we all know the internet is a big place. It's a big virtual place. Like you see like lots of pop culture, lots of fiction, non-fiction, lots of stuff to buy, lots of cars, lots of computers, lots of every single thing. And you see lots of good stuff, like lots of stuff to stock crush, lots of stuff, lots of files, lots of images, lots of videos on YouTube, stuff on Instagram, lots of numbers. You may think a lot of stuff is great on the internet, like you see Sonic the Hedgehog, Super Mario Bros, Pokemon, and Hello Kitty and Friends, including with My Melody and Kuropi and even Cinemoral. And guess what? All that stuff's great. You'll see toys, you can buy stuff online, on the internet, you can buy anything. You can even sell stuff on the internet. Well, it may be all that great, but not everything... What, not, but let me tell you something. Not everything on the internet's great. Well, there are some triggers out there, like some certain TV series, and especially stuff on the internet, like events 9-11. Yeah, I was not alive when 9-11 happened, and I have an older brother that, would pick, that used to pick on me, and I think he still does every once in a while. He probably still does every once in a while, and guess what? He wasn't alive when 9-11 happened either. I'd get picked on by that older brother of mine, and even though that the fact that we both weren't alive when 9-11 happened, and that really upsets me, especially that also makes me jealous, because you know, because you know, there was a, there's a lot of TV series out there that are around when 9-11 happened, and a lot of people out in the real world that were alive when 9-11 happened, that really makes me jealous of all those, like for an example, Dora the Explorer, Spongebob Squarepants, The Powerpuff Girls, Family Guy, Dick and Run. 
this TV series called Little Bill. All of those TV series were around when 9-11 happened, and I wasn't alive. Neither is that brother that would pick on me. As a matter of fact, Very Odd Parents came out in 2001, and guess what, what month? March 2001. So yeah, so actually, Very Odd Parents is in that list. It was around when 9-11 happened, either, too. But yet, there is a lot of people... There is a lot of people that are out there that were not alive when 9-11 happened. Like, the people that are a little bit older than me, or people my age, or people a little bit younger than me. People my generation, which is called Generation Z, which is a modern generation, they weren't alive when 9-11 happened. And there's also some TV series out there that weren't around when 9-11 happened. Yeah. Anyways, let's get on with the video. Because there's lots of triggers out there, lots of traumatizements out there you'll see on the internet. So this is why I should always say, you should be careful what you look up on the internet. If you're new to the internet and you're just getting a computer or a phone and you want to look at some pop culture, well here's my advice. Be very careful of what you look at before. Because, you know, there are some, like, triggers out there and some traumatistic stuff. There are some TV series out there that are traumatizing. And some numbers that could trigger you or set you off. Or can make you hit walls. Like, make you hit walls. Or even scream. There's some... Yeah, there are some numbers, some TV series, some stuff out there that could, that could like really make you upset and like, yeah, it's found upsetting and it can make you upset and like just does not make you feel comfortable. This is one of the reasons why I'm telling you, if you're new to the internet, please be very careful what you look at because there are some like stuff out there, like some TV series and some like, you know, some numbers, some events some stuff out there that you could end up being hearing about and you could get jealous traumatized mad angry setting off trauma or traumatized or like literally just uncomfortable in any ways because there are some stuff out in the internet that is very traumatizing so me i'm in this i'm a fan of sonic the hedgehog and i find some and there are some like numbers I see that are traumatizing like the year before I was born you do not want to hear me say it I am not going to say it because it really upsets me and traumatizes me it just makes me really want to hit the wall so yeah I'm not going to say it but yeah I see some triggers over that some triggers that has to do with like that series Sonic the Hedgehog and I've even seen us that year having to do with like Hello Kitty once when I lived at Larman Loop and just some Sanrio stuff I see on eBay says that year too it's just really upsetting and yeah this is one of the reasons I should say if you want to look at the internet look at some pop culture like video games TV series and stuff like that please be extremely careful because some of that stuff could be traumatized traumatistic or like upsetting and yeah you do not want to like get into that theory because with the year before i was even born ooh, stuff the stuff that's in that year ooh. let's not get into that because there are some traumatistic stuff that could really get me like really get me off guard that could really like get me like you know kind of anxious i could get nervous sometimes yeah let's just get off that topic because you know that is gonna excite me to death that's like gonna because some of that stuff is probably even gonna scare me to death well another thing this is even if including watching tv as well did you know there are actually cartoon network there's actually cartoons that have characters shown with sharp teeth did you ever notice, ever notice, if you've ever watched Cartoon Network in like 2016, 2017, 2018, like how I did, you're going to notice the, some characters that don't have sharp teeth, 
you're gonna notice that they're shown with sh that they're shown with that they're seen with sharp teeth sometimes, even though they don't actually have sharp teeth. Like for an example, Teen Titans Go, The Amazing World of Gumball, OK KO Let's Be Heroes, the original Teen Titans, and some other stuff too. But some of the good, some of the better Cartoon Network shows that I think are better appealing with like good like soundtracks and stuff like Steven Universe they even have their characters shown with sharp teeth sometimes they even do and I would say the worst episode the, the, the entire worst episode of Steven Universe I've ever watched in my entire life like the worst one I've ever watched in my entire life like the worst episode as I've ever watched in my entire life is that Steven Universe episode with Uncle Grandpa that Steven Universe Uncle Grandpa crossover yeah, that definitely has some sharp teeth stolen. It, it literally has something like this. And you do not see this on Steven Universe. But you might see that on like Teen Titans Go and The Amazing World of Gumball. You, know, you can even see that on like, you, you can definitely see that on Unikitty. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why if you don't like those sharp teeth scenes, please do not watch Cartoon Network. They're going to have those sharp teeth scenes. Do not ever watch Cartoon Network like how I did. I didn't like that. I didn't like those sharp teeth scenes. I didn't like them at the time. And I don't like them right now. Yeah, like, why are those characters shown with sharp teeth? Like, literally. That's weird. Like, how? Who came up with this art? Whoever came up with this idea to have characters that don't have sharp teeth shown with sharp teeth that person's an idiot like where did that idea even come from well anyways my saying is literally if you don't like those sharp teeth scenes do not watch Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon do not watch either one of those and if you want to look at some pop culture like Sega Nintendo Pokemon and Sanrio please be very careful what you look at because there are some like Sanrio stuff showing with sharp teeth. There's like a TV series of My Melody. And yeah. That TV series. Ooh. That TV series is horrible. They have sharp teeth scenes. That TV series of My Melody from Sanrio. Ooh. It's from April 2005. And for whatever reason, I think it ended in March 2006. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, do not watch that. I swear, do not watch that. Please, do not watch that. I'm begging you. It has... If you don't like sharp teeth scenes, do not watch that. Do not ever watch that. Because you are going to see lots of sharp teeth scenes. Like, tons. Because that TV series... That Sanrio series has so much sharp teeth scenes, it's crazy. Like, I will not stand watching that. I will not ever watch that crap. This is one of the reasons why I'm saying, if you want to look at the internet, please be very careful. Don't just look at stuff on the internet like how I did. Because I did, I found like many things that were upsetting, traumatizing, and... And triggering. Yeah, just so much. It's just I cannot take it. I'm still traumatized from all that crap I've seen on the internet. And yeah. If you're new. If I ever have any kids. And I and he wants to look at the internet. I'm going to tell him. I'm going to tell them. Please be very careful what you look at on the internet. Because what you look at on the internet. Could be traumatized why be careful and don't don't look at what I don't just look at look at look at look at stuff on the internet like how I did that's where you find stuff that is upsetting traumatizing and triggering and I'm still traumatized from all that crap I've seen on the internet so please my suggestion is I do not want to be triggered traumatized by this stuff anymore so please Help me get through all this and help me find some better stuff like better Sonic the Hedgehog stuff or Nintendo stuff, Japanese inspired video game console stuff or video game stuff. 
like anything that has like GameCube, PlayStation, Wii related, something that's better and does not have any of that crap. And yeah, speaking of that, I find some stuff that I think is pretty good, like some Sonic the Hedgehog stuff or some YouTubers that are in the like Sonic the Hedgehog or Super Mario Bros. I find some videos to rely on. I try to rely on them just for like, you know, just so I can keep away from all that other crap on the internet. And guess what? You want to know why I heard of them? The F word. Literally, the F word. All those videos that seem pretty good, well, they have the F word in it. Which is one of the reasons, which is the reason why I can't rely on those videos because they have the F word in it. And yeah, the F word, a major thing. The F word is really traumatizing, really triggering. Please do not say the F word at anyone. I'm begging you. If you say the F word at the wrong person, you will set that person off. Like, for an example, here's an autistic person. You see an autistic person and they do something that you didn't like and you just say the F word at them. Guess what? Guess what could happen? That person could go off like he could hit. He can like hit walls. He could flip stuff. He could destroy an entire room. He could shatter windows, put holes in the wall. Yeah, don't ever say the F word at anyone. Please do not ever say the F word. I'm, I'm telling you this so we can have a safer world for Andrew T123 for 5. And yeah, starting 2025, we want an all new fresh start for 2025 so we don't so we can get rid of all these triggers. So yeah. If you're having so many triggers but yet you s and so many good stuff you see on the internet and you just want to rely on the good stuff, you see some videos, right? You watch them. In the middle of you watching them, just imagine what you hear is the F word? Yeah, you cannot rely on this video because it has the F word in it. Yeah, and I'm telling you, the F word is like literally the worst word you could say. The worst word in the entire world you could ever say is literally the F word. Please do not ever say the F word. I'm begging you for a better environment, for a better world and better internet safety. And I'm telling you to keep safe on the internet because some of that stuff out there is pretty traumatizing. And yeah, please be careful. I've heard of some people that say the F word like really powerfully. Like for an example, Will Smith, after Will Smith <laughs> smacked Chris Rock, guess what? He said the F word at him pretty powerful enough. And then after that, he said, wow, it's a G.I. Jane joke. And then he said the F word at him again, but this time he kind of yelled the F word. He said it extremely powerfully. He kind of yelled it pretty powerfully. Oof. Yeah, and I remember that from like 2022. Yeah, that one Will Smith incident that happened at the 2022 Oscars. So yeah, this is one of the reasons why I keep telling you guys, be safe on the internet. And I'm telling you for an effect, don't always rely on stuff you see on the internet because it can have triggers in them. Like, rely on some good stuff. Be careful. If you want to be into something, please make sure to look at it. Make sure to spec it. See if it has any, like, triggers or not. If it has, like, sharp teeth scenes or anything like that, I suggest you not looking at it if you don't want, to, like, sharp teeth scenes like me. This is one of the re yeah. If you're like me and you just new to the internet, please be very. If you're watching this video right now, please be very careful what you look at on the internet because some of that stuff could be very traumatizing and stuff. And I'm telling you this for a fact because it actually traumatizes me and it and it triggers me. And I'm dealing with all this, having to look at all this, like see the year before I was born. Yeah, the year before 2005, which 2005 is the year I was born, the year before that, I don't even, as of right now, I do not like to see that year. I really do not like to see that year. Like, whenever I see that year, when I'm just looking on my, the, when I'm just at the, on the internet, looking at my computer or my phone, and I see that year, it really puts a trigger in me. Like, it really triggers me. Like, it just makes me want to hit the wall and scream, Andrew Thompson is 2005. 
even though I'm not actually 2005 because I was born in 2005. Yeah, I actually got rid of that. I actually tried to get rid of that stuff, get rid of those thoughts in like 2022. Which, yeah, but 2025 will be an even better start. Which I'm telling you, for 2025, let's start all new and fresh on the internet. Let's do all new fresh stuff. Like, keep it clean. Keep it nice and clean. And do not just look, look, look on the internet. Please, be very careful. Be smooth. Spec stuff. See if they're triggerish or not. Because some of that stuff out there is pretty triggerish. Please, if I, I'm begging you, do not just look at stuff. Because some of that stuff is pretty triggerish. Oh, and another thing. The YouTube Kids logo. Literally, the YouTube Kids logo. And you know that logo? Oh. If you ever click on a video on YouTube, if you ever like, click, if you ever click on a YouTube video, please make sure to block some of it so you don't, so you don't end up seeing the YouTube Kids logo because if you just click on a video, ooh. You could end up seeing the YouTube Kids logo. And that is really traumatizing. Way more traumatizing than just seeing a number you don't want to see like me. It's way more traumatizing. Especially that you can't do playback or you can't do anything. Because videos made for kids, you can't comment. And not only that, but you can't even like, you know... You can't download them, you can't even like put them on anything, you can't do nothing with them. All you can do is like or dislike, that's it. Videos made for kids? Yeah. Videos that have kids content, the content is, the content? Well I'm not talking about the video, I'm talking about how you could like, how the YouTube kids logo, how that red logo just appears, yeah. That's really upsetting. I find that really ups I find that really triggerish. And yeah, please, if you're on YouTube, be very careful what you look at. Cuz what you look at is very could be could be a triggerish. Besides, yeah, if you if you just look at stuff like click click click, look at stuff, look at whatever you want to look at. You might end up running into some like traumatistic stuff or some triggerish stuff that is not going to make you very comfortable. It does not feel comfortable. It really sucks. Which is why please do not look at stuff on the internet. Please do not just look at stuff on the internet like how I did. But be very careful if you want to see stuff that you want to look at. Please just look, just look really good into it. And do not even just be into it. Please see what it has before being into it. Because you don't know what that thing can have. Well anyways, so like I always say, if you're new to the internet and just got a computer or a phone. Like if you're new to the internet, please be very careful what you look at. Because some of that stuff could be pretty traumatizing or triggerish. So please look at... Please do not just click, click, click stuff. Be very careful what you look at. Well, anyways, did you get, was this helpful internet information? If it was helpful, please give this video a like. Because I want more. I'm, my goal is to get up to 100 subscribers. But yeah. I just want to get up to 100 subscribers. And I hope this was helpful. Because there are some stuff out in the internet that is pretty triggerish. So yeah, if you want the reliable and best reliable stuff, please watch Andrew T 12345. It has the best. It has the best stuff. Andrew T 12345 has the best content and best reliable content. Cause you don't know what other channels will do. So please, if you like this video, give this video a like. And if you haven't hit if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Now, I'm going to bounce you guys out in 3, 2, 1, bye. Twenty twenty four Andrew T12345 videos. 
Did you like this video? If you did, then give this video a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos of Andrew T12345. The end.